So the other day, one of the guys from my community posted this video. Can I add this to stream? Yeah. Uh, from Coach Red Pill, Gonzala. Uh, title is Leave Now While You Can. I'm not going to play it. You guys can go watch it. Um, it's pretty bleak. Uh, there's some conversation around it. And um, basically the TLDR version of it was get the hell out. Things are going to go downhill fast. And if you're not out by, I think you said, the spring, you're going to be all wrapped up in a war with China. I don't think North America is going to go anywhere near a war with China, personally. Um, <laughs> they're going to lose. <laughs> it's just a matter of fact, man. You know, you take a look at the numbers. They're, they're not going to pick a fight with China. Um, if China wants Taiwan, I think the West is going to let them have it, you know, if I'm being honest. Uh, I like Gonzalo, and we've talked a few times uh, uh, online and even offline in the last couple of years. So you can go watch that if you want to get a little more frame around that. But um, yeah, so I was thinking about doing this video for a while now, and there's a tweet that Elon Musk put out the other day. Actually, yeah, here, I'll show you that first. Um, so Elon has this FSD beta coming out, which stands for full self-driving for Tesla cars. Um I guess that's the code for it. It rolls out Friday midnight to a thousand, so to approximately a thousand owners with a perfect hundred out of a hundred safety scores on their driving. Now this doesn't make a lot of sense to me um, because if it's fully automatic driving, why does your driving skills have anything to do with what the automatic or the autopilot's going to do? If the autopilot has the capacity to drive better than humans, which it arguably should, um, any faults you have in your driving shouldn't matter but they're only giving the rollout to people that have perfect safety scores as the Tesla car tracks it as you're driving it. It says there, uh, rollouts will hold for several days and after that, see how it goes. Uh, if that looks good, beta will gradually begin rolling out to the 99 scores and below. Now, some of you might think, well, it doesn't really matter, that's insignificant, blah, 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 blah. But um, last week, I don't know if you guys, you guys already know I'm a car guy, as per the title of the channel. Um, so I'm not watching crap on YouTube about how to get the girls. <laughs> um, I already know that. Um, my my YouTube viewing probably consists mostly of uh, stuff around cars and sailing and um, a few other, uh, you know, like be better sort of uh, notions. And this guy Brock has this YouTube channel called Drag Times. Uh, good dude. I'd probably like to get him on at some point for a uh, playing to win episode. But over here, I watched this video that says, will Tesla say I'm a bad driver? Will I get the full, and he, what does it say after that? Uh, full self-driving I pay $10,000 for. So he paid $10,000 for an option, which he can't get. <clears throat> so follow me on this, okay? This is the logic of what this whole social credit system is gonna look like. You pay 10 grand as an option for something he can't get. I'm not gonna play the video. You guys can go watch it if you want. It's on his channel. Uh, but the end result of it was he got a five out of a hundred score driving the car. Now, as you can see by the cover photo, he's got quite a few fast cars. And by the type, by the name of the channel, it, he does a lot of drag racing on it. Um, you know, just check out the quarter mile speeds and, uh, you know, half miles and zero sixties and stuff like that. But he could not, he's, he's definitely not going to get the uh, beta rollout of this uh, full self driving from Tesla because he won't qualify because of his driving. Um, it takes factors into consideration like uh, acceleration, cornering speed, follow distance, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm, again, if you guys want to know what all the details are, you can go look that up. But it, it basically takes into consideration how you drive right now. And then it says, okay, well, if you're a 100 out of 100 score, then we're going to give you the software update that you paid for. If you're not, then you don't get the software update until we feel like giving it to you. <laughs> So that's how things are starting to roll out, huh? You're paying for shit that you cannot get or take advantage of. So I watched this other video that followed up after it over here, and it says it's okay to speed and run red lights. So it doesn't take into account your speed versus the speed limit. It doesn't take into account if you go through a red light. Um, but he says, but turns and braking are the problem. So it, it tracks your, uh, you know, I'm assuming there's some sort of accelerometer in the uh, car uh, that tracks your g-forces and if you're going around a corner I think he, he said more than 0.4 g's then you're not a good driver and it's going to lower your score cars like this I mean most cars like my McLaren will probably pull like uh, 
1.05, maybe 1.1 G's, you know, depending on the tires I have in the car and the, the surface, but they can pull a lot of G's very, like they're glued to the road, especially if you have air and all that sort of stuff. So they've decided unilaterally, pay for this software update, but we're only going to give it to you if your driving is good, even though your driving should have no relevance whatsoever on full self-driving because the car technically should be able to drive itself. You're seeing how this is starting to roll out, right? You know, you're paying for stuff that you're not getting access to. They're, they're only giving you access if you have a certain score. Now, some of my haters and critics might say something along the lines, well, good, because we don't want people driving fast and um, stuff like that and blah, 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 blah. Well, let me introduce a few more uh, things for you guys to consider. Uh, try to make these a little bit bigger so you can see them. So I don't know who this guy is, but I had this tweet forwarded to me uh, the other day. He says, the year is 2031, so 10 years from now. Your electric car locked you out because you reached your driving limit. Okay? That, that's something that might show up on a social credit score tracking you know, mechanism. Maybe you've got a limit of a certain number of kilometers or miles you can drive every single month. You've reached that limit. You can now no, no longer use that car. Um, you walk to a store to buy your food. The steak you want to buy gets denied because you've reached your CO2 limit. You walk home with a bag of bugs and fake soy meat. And the vegans right now are laughing, going, ha ha, <laughs> that's good. So let's roll out social credit. Wrong. What happens if social credit encompasses everything, which it will? It's not just going to be, you know, car guys or people that like meat or anything like that that's, you know, <laughs> tied into that side of the equation. Let's go to the other side of the equation. Let's go to the soy guys. Let's go to the vegans. And let's... Uh, because we're all in this together, guys. This is not an us versus them thing when it comes to society. This is an us, meaning society itself, versus the state thing. We're the us, the state is them, okay? You go to the grocery store and you want to buy, I don't know, your soy latte mix beverage, whatever the hell it is, um, or you want to buy uh, your soy lint drinks or whatever it is that you're drinking, uh, or your bag of veggies or whatever. Let's say that you're buying certain things that um, would affect your CO2 limit. Uh, we know that they mostly grow soy in the Amazon rainforest where they're burnt, like basically clearing trees out. Uh, that's where most of the soy comes from. So what happens if you reach your limit with that? What happens if it's a far left wing? I've got a few notes here. What happens if it's a far left wing socialist that wants unlimited free abortions? What happens if you reach your limit with that? Just saying, you know, what happens if they're tracking that and they say, nope, sorry, Nothing for you this month because you've already had your limit in the last six months or something like that, right? Just something to consider. Uh, there's an interesting video, which again, I'm not going to play. Uh, it's called, I'm just going to add it to the stream and put it up here and kind of play it back at a super fast speed and do a little bit of voiceover for you so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. There's two times. Um, so this is on a channel called Your New Social, or sorry, it's, called, it's by Tom Scott, and it says Your New Social Credit Score. It's, it's buffering now for some reason. I hope that's not a problem with my internet. Anyway, I'm going to pause it because it seems to be a problem playing. But go watch it. It says your new social credit score. And some people thought this was real. Some people actually, you know, started throwing us around the internet saying, oh, this is what's coming. You know, this is this is already out there. This is what they're doing, but they're not. This is a spoof. Okay. The uh, publisher of this um, particular video pinned a top comment down over here. Uh, where is it? Update on the 13th of April, 2021. I've been told that some conspiracy theorists are bizarrely calculating this video as fact. To be clear, this is a speculative fic fiction from 2018, part of a sci-fi series on the channel, blah, 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 blah. So this is a complete spoof. It is it is completely, you know, it, it, it is not nonfiction, it is fiction. And people are tossing around like it's already happening right now. But the way they break it down, the way it's been broken down, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about when you go watch that, right? Um yeah, Conk says, can't wait till they ask for your bench press max before buying your groceries. Conk, what if they say, what if you got to stand on a scale before you buy your groceries, right? And they limit what it is that you can buy because your body mass index is not to their liking. And you're not allowed to buy certain things anymore that might affect your health or your weight. I don't have any problem with that, but there might be some people that have certain food addictions um, that might have a problem with that, right? Um, the, you know, this question, again, it's not about a left versus right or us versus them in society going down the social credit score route, which is already happening. As I pointed out with what Tesla's doing is one example. There's thousands more. I'm going to show you a couple more. Um, it's going to create basically four classes of people. 
elites, the sheep, the broken sheep, and the black market. Okay, um, you have a you have a good score. You've got the money to pay for uh, exemptions. Maybe you're going to be in the elite category. That's not me. That's not you. That's not anybody with probably less than $100 million in net worth. You're going to have to have some serious bank to be in that category. The sheep are all going to be the ones that quietly comply. Um, they will follow everything to the rule. They're the ones that ran right out as soon as the government said, hey, we have an experimental vaccine that hasn't been uh, put through any kind of clinical trials on a long-term basis. Come and take the jab and save your life. And they're like, let's run out. Bah! Those guys, the sheep, there's going to be a lot of sheep and there's going to be broken sheep who are going to have a low score. Maybe because... I don't know, they shoplifted maybe because they were speeding in their car, maybe because they exceeded their limit of car CO2 emissions for the month and they are no longer allowed to buy certain things or have access to certain things. Or maybe leave their house. What happens if you can't leave your house because there's a smart lock on your house because the government has you in, um, you know, these giant towers, these glass boxes they call condominiums. Sometimes they're also called, uh, you know, housing. They're all the same thing. What happens if they put smart locks on those and you can't leave your house, all right? Because you've been a bad boy or a bad girl. Maybe you were protesting, you know, somebody or something or a president or a, a corporation. And, you know, God forbid, you're not allowed to go out anymore. You can't leave your house. The smart lock won't let you go out until your score goes higher, until you've done certain things, or certain tasks or wait a certain period of time because your timeout's over, right? What if you go to the store and you were, you know, one of these far lefties that likes dyeing their hair purple, green, or, you know, uh, all those nasty colors, um, and you can't buy your hair dye because you've exceeded your limit because it does environmental damage, right? What if, right? Okay. It's not just left versus right, center, uh, liberal versus conservative versus libertarian. This is an us versus them thing, meaning it's us versus us as in society versus the state imposing limiting, limiting uh, things on us. What if your voting privileges get revoked, right? You can't vote. Entirely possible. All of a sudden, that, see... See, what you guys continue to overlook that I've been banging on for years now, okay? You want personal freedom. You don't want giant-ass government telling you what to do. You want personal freedom. The problem is, though, is that the government baits people. And the sheep aren't bright enough to see the code in the matrix to see what's going on. I am. I've been looking at the code in the matrix for years now. Most people just say, oh, yeah, they, you know, they love and care for us. I've lobbied with the government 10, 12 years ago on a bill that was going to make getting out of debt more expensive, limit consumer options, ruin their credit more, and um, take longer to improve your credit. Okay, there was four critical components of the bill that I was talking to the provincial government in Ontario at Queen's Park on. Dealt with the critics. Jagmeet Singh was one of the critics here in Ontario. That guy's a lying POS. Lied right to my face. And they don't care about what's good for the consumer. I've watched them firsthand. I've seen the code in the matrix. They only care about themselves and retaining their authority and control. So as long as you keep voting for big government, thinking that free shit's good, let's tax the rich, you know, that popular phase. Hey, you know, you guys want to keep voting for that. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get more of the social credit system. What if you get limits to access to medicine if you have a low score, right? What if you're one of the guys out there, and I'm not pro-vax or anti-vax, I'm pro-make a decision for yourself that works, right? I mean, there's certain people that should probably get it and certain people which it just doesn't make a lot of sense. But let's say that you don't take the jabs that they want you to that year, or the boosters that they want you to that year because you've made a unilateral choice in your own interest to do what's better for you. And then you need medical assistance for something totally unrelated, you know, to any kind of outcome or disease that might come out of it, but you don't get the medical treatment that you're looking for. Right. That's what happens with state run health care. That's what happens with social credit systems. You guys are going to now I'm a big fan of blockchain money. Huge fan. I've been talking about it for a while. Cryptocurrency is going to change the world. Blockchain is going to change the world. But the government is already realizing that they're going to have to issue stead, state issued currency. I don't know what they're going to call it. The Fed coin, the, you know, the Fed USD coin, the Canadian Fed coin or whatever it's going to be called. Because it's on the blockchain and you can use smart contracts with it, if you use their currency, they're going to know exactly what you're using the money for. It's not like, you know, you can take cash out of your ATM and you can buy whatever you want with them. They have no idea what you're doing with it. If you're going to be using a blockchain-based currency, which is going to come, right, if, if people don't adopt things like Bitcoin, Monero, you know, maybe some of the other privacy coins, some of the other DeFi projects that come out, stuff like that. 
if the masses, if the sheep just go, okay, big government, bah, and just shift over and abandon a currency system that gives them at least some amount of privacy and autonomy and um, is permissionless and is censorship resistant. If they, if they go right onto the government system, you know what's going to happen? They're going to know exactly what you buy all the time. You buy too much meat, you buy too much soy, you buy too much of something that's going to uh, rack up a score that's going to throw off your social credit score, you're banned from it. Uh, it, you know, buying certain things might limit your score. Maybe if you buy too much alcohol or too much cigarettes or too much weed or too much, too many condoms, uh, too many plan B's, you know, any, any one of those things could lower your score, right? Just think about it, you know, it's coming. It's already here. It's not even like it's coming. It's already here. Like, hi, cold, hard truth bombs, bomber command. Welcome to Rich Cooper's bomber command. This is it guys. This is, this is what is going down. 